Hispanic Heritage Month may have wrapped up a few days ago, but the celebration continued today, and there was a little something for everyone, including one heck of a competition. Here's that story with Joseph Brown. For many, this festival was all about family, organizers tell us, while celebrating all aspects of the Hispanic culture and sharing it with others. As the dancing, the food, you know, we, that's what we relate, that's how, how we're known as, you know, our food, our dance, our culture, our, our people, beautiful people. This is where we keep our heritage alive no matter where we go. And it's nice to see it in Tampa. And while the focus was on family, also front and center were food and music, organizers say, both a large part of the Hispanic culture. They also tell us there's another pastime that always seems to bring out the competitive spirit in families, and that's dominoes. You can see that they are pretty mellow in, in, in this setting because they know it's a, it's a, it's a tournament. It's a little more serious. If you were playing in your house with friends, you know, there's no issue. You, you slam it and then you talk, you know, you talk, you talk smack. As the party was enjoyed by everyone at Al Lopez Park, you couldn't help but notice those feet were moving to the music as dancing was a big part of the day. <laughs> Celebrating a culture with very special moments while making special memories. That looked like so much fun. Oh, my gosh. Photojournalist Joseph Brown got the uh, awesome assignment today to go out there and enjoy those folks. We didn't get any yeah. food, though. I'm going to be honest, mm. though. I would have to dance first because I would not be able to after I ate. Not with all that food. I'd have a full plate. Yep.